Bill is now part of Olympic history. It's a magic how we're doing this. You're over there, <laughs> I'm over here. 10 News reporter Malik Jackson explains the journey from a small idea to the biggest stage in sports. For one Knoxville business, it feels like years of work has paid off. When we turn the TV on and we're watching her and I'm like, oh my gosh, like this is, this is it, you know, and it was, I mean, it was kind of emotional. You kind of think back over all the years. Ozone creative director Leah Brown knows this success was not achieved overnight. It took us a while to kind of get the fit perfect. We didn't want to launch into the market until, you know, we had exactly what we wanted to put out there. A decade of trying to figure out what would work. In about 2009, 2010, we kind of realized that in the market, there was an opening for something new and different. Building their brand with unusual places of motivation. We get our inspiration from um, prom dresses, from ice skating, you know, just what's different and, um, you know, what's on trend. When former Olympian Nastia Lukin reached out to them, it launched their brand on a national stage, opening the door to the official sponsor of the Brazil Olympic women's gymnastics team. If it wasn't for them, we wouldn't have been on that Olympic stage. You know, it had to, it was a definite start from the beginning and you got to work your way to the top. With a Brazil gymnast landing a gold and silver medal, Knoxville's own Ozone found itself on the podium. And you're like, wow, we came from trying to figure out how to make a leotard fit to now you're watching it on, you know, national television or gosh, international television. It's the Olympic Games. And Knoxville, Malik Jackson. Congrats to them. They say their next goal is to hopefully be able to make the leotards for the U.S. gymnastics team for the Olympics in 2024. All right.